question oh. sa inyo, mm. guys. Pag naiisip nyo ang Filipino dessert, anong unang-unang pumapasok sa inyong mga isip? Ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, <laughs> ice cream. Saka yung mga misa, kakanin. kakanin. Oh, kakanin. Like, kakanin. Maha blanc hugs to ko yan. Oh, yan. Ay, suman yan. The best. Suman, suman with manga. Suman sa liya. Yan. Suman with manga? Oh. Ah, meron pala noon. <laughs> Hindi ko masyadong ano. Ah. Hindi ko kinita pa. Okay. <laughs> Maasim. Oo oh, nga, parang naglalapan. Yung yellow. Siyempre yung hinog na mangga. Hinog na mangga. Okay lang, ma'am. Eh, isang parang... Pa, is, okay. Isang isang ganon? Parang... Oo, oh, 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 sige. We should try that, no? Pero ito nga, when we say Filipino dessert, kasama dyan ang ube, leche flan, sagot gulaman, at kung ano-ano pang minatamis na prutas. Combine them all, add ice and milk, and wala, meron ka ng halo-halo! At siyempre ha, paborito ng mga Pinoy ang halo-halo. Yes! Kasi ito ay malamig and refreshing. Perfect sa mainit na klima ng Pilipinas. At kahit tag-ulan na, mm -hmm. hindi pa rin nawawala ito sa menu ng mga ibang restaurant. Tama, Tama. kayo dyan. Kaya siyempre, samahan nyo kaming muli at ating pag-usapan ng inyong negosyo tungkol sa halo-halo. Dito lamang sa inyong business culinaire ang Bread and Butter! Looks like your typical halo halo on the outside, but guess what? It's your extraordinary halo halo on the inside. Ang sikreto na sa tatlong ingredients lama. Let's find out kung bakit parami ng parami ang branches ng kabig taste halo halo. Okay, makakasama po natin ngayon si Ms. Rowena Andres, Manager of Kabik Team. Halo, halo. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Bread and Butter. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Talk about halo, halo. Siyempre, isa sa mga sinasabi nga ng mga consumer natin is Kabik Team. Uh, bakit po ba? What's, what's so important or what's different about your halo, halo? Um, we only have three ingredients in our halo, halo. So it's the mashed beans or what we call halaya. Halayan yes, beans. Beans. Oh, it's beans. not ube. Uh -oh. Beans, halaya. Hinalaya yung beans. Mm -hmm. And then we have the pastillas made from carabao's milk. Mm -hmm. and, In the halo-halo. Yes. And oh. um, sweet corn. Mm -hmm. Happy na nga ba? Tatlo lang. Yan. Yan ang ano. Yan ang masarap. That's Eto. the pastillas. Ah, yes, panalo. Okay. Oh, I love pastillas. <laughs> As the name suggests, ang halo-halo ay mixture ng iba't ibang ingredients. Minatamis na saging, langka, beans, makapuno, at iba pa. Ang kagandahan dito, hindi limitado ang ingredients na pwede mong ilagay. At hindi rin nangangahulugan na kapag kaunti ang mga sangkap, ay di na ito masarap. Sa tamang kombinasyon ng mga sangkap, at syempre, at sa dami ng gatas, nakasalalay ang linamnam ng halo-halo. Gaya na lang ng Sakabig Things Halo-Halo. Bakit patok na patok pa rin ang halo-halo, yes. no? Even upper mm -hmm. summer. Yeah. Hmm. Kasi diba, meron, meron talagang ibang mga tao na bakit ka naman nagkakape kung mainit? Ganun din yung ano. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> okay. Masarap talaga sa Masarap. Okay. Tsaka it's one of those comfort food. Ano po ba sa tingin yung advantage of getting a franchise instead of creating your own version of ha, Number one, yun, uh, kung kunyari, like us, my partners are mostly doctors, so you know they don't have time to be creative exactly. and, and uh, make up, you know, 
as a, a unique product. Eh, ito. Do the feasibility study, yes, and everything. everything. Eh, ito ready na. Plug and, and play. Nagustuhan naman namin. Masarap naman siya. Masarap. Diba? So, we decided to enter this business na. Paano niyo po siya na-discover? Yun na, na, how did you discover this place when you went to Arayat? Yes. And then, um, yung mga, bali, the, the, our group, Mahilig kasing kumain. And we love, we love, no, not only halo-halo, foodies. <laughs> But we don't vlog. <laughs> Pero yun na nga, yun yung hilig namin. Ang hilig kumain. And, you know, we love to discover new restaurants, new food in the market. So we decided, alam mo, hilig natin maglakwa siya. Why not, why don't we just put up our own? So, lahat ng mga gusto natin nandito rin. Like the lempo and we have different kinds of longganisas from different from different uh, provinces. Mm -hmm. yeah. And kami mismo ang nag-a-approve ano nag or disapprove kung, kung hindi pasado sa... Oh. Oo, so, oo. Pero pati sinabi talaga ka big thing at restaurant, di ba? Talagang halo-halo ang specialty. Halo-halo and palabok. Palabok. And um, lumpiang Sariwa. ubod. Yes. yes lumpiang sa pag establish na ang halo-halo business mo, gawin itong Anchor Product para mahikayat ang mga customers sa iba mo pang produkto. Magtinda rin ang iba pang merienda gaya ng palabok, pansit bihon, and other foods for your customers' full satisfaction. Usually po yung uh, serving natin for the halo-halo, how much po natin po? This is 100. 100. Uh, we only have one size and oh. wala kaming special or one regular. Kind. Lahat special. <laughs> wala yung variants. Wala, wala. Mm. Pero uh, all of the ingredients nang gagaling pa lahat. Yes, oo. Para maging ano yun eh, for consistency. consistency. Yes, that's mm. right. For consistency, mm. dapat Especially lahat. Especially yung, ano, yung pastillas. The pastillas. Mm. So. Okay, punta na tayo sa mga tips na pwede niyang i-share sa ating mga televiewers if they want to put up their own restaurants, especially kung foodie sila like you guys. Uh Oo. -oh. Okay. Number one, you have to believe in your products. You have to love what you're, uh, what you're serving. Na, ikaw mismo kumakain. Gusto mo. Gusto mo. Naniniwala. Yes. Kasi kung kunyari titipirin or kunyari hindi naman masyadong masarap for you, Your customers will feel it. Na hindi yan, hindi yan yung gusto mo, de ba? And eventually, you know, the customers will stop going and patronizing your place. Number two, you have to love to what you're doing. Yeah, passion. Because, ano she, you know, it's a very hands-on business. Nakatutok po ba kayo? Are you you like here every day? Ah, no, not every day. But I am on top of everything. Sana po bisitain yung kami dito sa Kabiting Salo Halo Banawe Branch. Yes. Ah, we are open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's not just about business. It is also part of an advocacy to have a new coconut industry, which will help the farmers. That is why this restaurant offers only coconut-based foods, and for their dessert, their halo-halo is mixed with a cocoa ice mix instead of a regular ice. Let's get to know more about the uniqueness of their cocoa halo-halo. If you have a unique tasting halo halo, you should better visit Coconut House here in Quezon City Circle. And of course, to tell us more about it, we will be with Ms. Jobeline Kulaste, our branch supervisor of Coconut House. Hello, Jobeline! Hi, Jobeline! Hello, po. Bakit ba unique ang uh, halo-halo dito sa Coconut House? Mm, isa sa yes. unique factor po ng halo-halo mm. namin dito sa Coconut House ay yung ingredients itself. Um, instead of using uh, regular water, um, Ginagamitan po siya ng coconut juice and then milk and then pinuput sa freezer. Kaya pala mas creamy. Mas smooth yung ice niya and creamy. At saka napansin ko rin sa halo-halo nila, hindi ganun karami yung Oo nga. Yung mga hindi ganun kadami yung ingredients pero patok pa rin sa ano. 
Pero kahit na hindi ganun kadami yung ingredients, nakakompensate nung coconut juice na ice. Pero kasi di ba, Jovelyn, tapos na yung summer, uh, mabenta pa rin ba yung halo-halo? Apo, sir. Tapos um, na yung summer. Isa siya sa mga number one sa mga dessert namin. Lagi nagtatop one po yung coco halo-halo namin. So you mean to say all year round? Talagang pinupuntahan ng halo-halo nyo? -halo, kahit umuulan. Isa sa kagandahan ng negosyong ito ay ang pagiging suitable sa lahat ng panahon at klima. Bagamat mas nagbubum ito kapag summer season, may mga customers pa din ito all year round. Aside from uh, your halo-halo here in Coconut House, ano pa bang yeah. uh, mga products ang sinserving here sa inyong restaurant? Yeah. Um, meron kami yung pancit buko. Isa sa specialty namin yung pancit buko din. Ano pa? Um, coco okoy. Coco -okoy. Fried vegetables with coconut strips. Mm. Meron din kaming other products like coconut soy, mm -hmm. virgin coconut oil. Yeah, so yung products. karamihan ng mga food dito, may halo talagang... Coconut. Mara. Oh. Everything has touch of coconut, so it's gonna be either coconut juice, yung meat, yung milk. Coconut House is just a part of the owner's advocacy to create a new coconut industry, which will benefit not just the big companies, but the small farmers as well. But aside from that, nga, kasi diba, nabanggit nga ni Jovelyn na meron din sila ibang mga products. In that way, natutulungan din nila yung mga farmers. May ibang mga products like coco sugar. Mm -hmm. Ang pinopromote talaga ng Coconut House ay hindi lang yung mga refined sugar or white sugar. Apa. You really use coconut Ro sugar. Coconut sugar. Mm. At the same time, natutulungan namin yung mga farmers. farmers like, <laughs> hindi lang po <laughs> copra yung products. Marami pang iba. So, marami so, pang so, Yung owner and then together mm. with the partners po, tinutulungan yung mga partners to create different kinds of coconut products. So, um, saan pa, saan pa kinukuha yung mga coconut products? Yun? Different farmers, different oh, suppliers. Different farmers. Location can make or break a business. Kahit pa sa maliit na stall lang ng halo-halo, targetin ang mga lugar na matao at i-base din ang presyo sa kakayanan ng target market mo. Coconut House is strategically located at Quezon Memorial Circle which helped the business a lot in bringing in customers. Uh, dito sa Quezon City Circle, anong klase ng mga tao ang usual diners nyo? Ah, usually mga health conscious po, mga mm -hmm. joggers, tas yung mga business around the area. Mga... Kasi di ba napansin mo, looban siya. So, kumbaga yung tao, bibisitahin talaga. Kasadyain talaga. Kasadyain talaga. Kasadyain talaga. Kasadyain talaga. Kasadyain word of mouth, binibisita po nila. Tandaan, ang bawat bibili ng halo-halo mo ay potential marketer mo din. Kapag nagustuhan nila ang produkto at serbisyo mo, ire-recommenda nila ito sa mga kakilala nila. Kailangan mo lang ma ano yung, ako ano yung point of difference mo. So, kailangan unique, hindi pa siya gano'n ano sa market para papatok talaga siya kahit maraming competitors. Okay. Uh, estimated price pala per dining? Um, 145 to 180. Per head. How much yung halo-halo serving natin? Uh, pag gusto niyo regular, 85 pesos siya. Pag with coconut Station. ice cream on top, 100. Dito lang po kami sa loob ng Quezon City Circle. Um, open po kami 7 to 9 po. That's 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Wala kayong broken time, hindi kayo nagko-close during hapon. Ah, wala po. Diretso-diretso. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much! Thank you! Thank you. Sa pagtatayo ng halo-halo business, give attention to the following. Ingredients. Hindi kailangan na marami ang ingredients. Ang mahalaga ay ang sarap ng kombinasyon ng mga piling sangkap. Location can make or break a business. Look for a place na nadadaanan ng tao. Believe in your products. Kung ikaw mismo ay hindi nasasarapan, huwag mong asahan na magugusan nito ng mga customers mo. Keep in mind also that your customers are your potential marketers. Kapag nasatisfy sila, they will bring customers to you kahit hindi mo i-request sa kanila. Be creative. Sa dami ng competitors, think of a point of difference para mag-stand out ang halo-halo mo. Bread and Butter wishes you good luck! Mmm! Ang realization ko sa ating uh, furniture for today, mm. kasi before, tuwing summer lang talaga malakas Correct. ang halo-halo. Yeah. Pero ngayon, mm. pero ngayon kasi parang 
anytime, meron yes. kang magbibila ng halo-halo. Kahit hindi summer. Kahit hindi summer, mm. kahit pag-ulan. Kasi parang hinahanap na rin ng mga Pinoy, di ba? Nakasanayan na rin. Tapos, yun nga, pabago-bago yung klima ng Pilipinas, di ba? Kaya, nahanap-hanap na rin lang yung halo-halo. halo-halo. All Tapos, year round. Isa pa, yes. isa pa dito. Oh. From from the usual ingredients, mm. nag-evolve na siya. Nagkaroon na ng variation. Oh, yes. Like itong kinakain natin, di ba? Kakaiba. Ito, base ito is sa coconut. Coconut. Yung ice, mm-hmm. yung ice niya, niya coconut, coconut juice. Tapos, hindi lang siya water. Hindi, siya, Mas, hindi ganun creamy. karami. Mm-hmm. Hindi ganun karami yung ingredients. Oo, oh, oh, iba. Kaya nahanap ko nga rin yung mga ganyan. Yung mga pinipi, Parang, mga ano, wala. Nag-evolve so, na siya. Uh, oh, ibang oh. halo-halo ito. Kung baga, kanya-kanyang style, yes. no? Okay, eto, alam nyo ba, meron tayong tatlong reason why halo-halo business is very feasible. One, tayong mga Pinoy ay meron tayong sweet tooth. We love our sweets, desserts, and mga kakanin. Correct, and syempre, two, Philippines is a tropical country. Kaya hindi nalalaos ang halo-halo anumang buwan. Tama kayo dyan. And third, the ingredients of halo-halo is readily available everywhere. Kaya hindi malaking kapital ang kailangan mo dito. Ayan, mga sambay. Sana marami kayong natutunan mm-hmm. ngayong araw na ito. Until next time, mga sambahay, ating pag-usapan ninyong kwento sa pagninegosyo dito lamang sa Bread and Butter! Yay! Halo-halo! <laughs> Halo-halo! Bahay. Halo-halo business is truly a very fe- fe- feasible in all seasons. Of course, we would like to thank Miss Rowena Andres, Manawi Branch Manager of Kabig Things Halo-halo. Uh, Miss Jamie Hernandez, Branch Manager of Coconut House. To its supervisor, Miss Javelin Colaste. And for more business tips, of course, you can reach us on our social media accounts. Facebook.com slash BNBTV and at BNBTV for our Twitter and Instagram. You may also watch our previous episodes at www.untvweb.com and our, our email address. And for your comments and suggestions, you can email us at BNBTV at gmail.com. Okay, see you again next Tuesday. 